Welcome back to another weekly update video. If you are new here, my name is Chris. I'm a dividend investor. The long-term goal of this portfolio is to buy into dividend paying companies, creating cash flow that I can reinvest into the portfolio and get a compounding effect. So if that's something you wanna see, I do updates every single Friday. So maybe consider subscribing if you want to see how this does. Now with that being said, let's jump in. We are down 5.01% for the week. Now I got a ton of messages from you guys on Instagram basically saying, what's going on? I'm super red today, this is awful. And my response to you guys was pretty much all the same and it was that this should have been expected. Now I think a lot of you guys were really thrown off on that because some of you didn't even respond. Um, but let me just explain to you why I kind of felt that way. So one month chart here, we're up 15.45%. Three month chart, 15.07%. And the one year chart, we're up 7.08% after a huge crash. Now, what you see here is a normal stock pattern. Um, you know, you got your peaks here and then it drops back down before it gets to a new high. That's typically how patterns work in uptrending stocks. So, this is obviously my whole portfolio, but looking at the tail end of this, the past couple of weeks have pretty much just been a straight shot up. That's not typically how this works. Um, the stock market needs to correct itself and that's kind of what I would consider this week as a correction before we get to a new high level. So typically speaking, stocks don't shoot straight up. I mean, it is possible, but this is my whole entire portfolio here that we're talking about. So to expect it to just keep going up and up is kind of not realistic. So that's what I meant by this should have been expected. We were due for a correction and it happened. Obviously I'm not an expert, but that is my two cents on that. So transitioning to the buys for this week, um, I bought into Procter & Gamble, average cost of 117.06, uh, 0.85 shares, it's a more expensive stock, so I had to use fractional shares just to get in on this one. So not a bad price if you look at the year, um, their average is probably around 120. Um, I don't think they grow too much. I mean, over the five year chart, it looks pretty good, but as you can see, um, it's a pretty safe company, so it doesn't fluctuate too much in price. Obviously, with the crash it did, but even that wasn't that much of a drop compared to other companies. So with that being said, we got one dividend since the last time we talked. It was from AG&C, $0.66, cents, so it's almost double what it was last month. So it's good to see that growth already happening in the earlier side of June here. We've got a lot more dividends to come, so I will update you as that happens. Moving on to Simply Safe here, our annual income is up to 171 now, with the monthly being around $15. So a little bit of growth there already in the month of June. Um, diversification is a little bit more improved with the Consumer Staples edition of Procter & Gamble. So that is what we really needed because financials is too heavy and real estate. So as we spec into these new companies, that will take care of that. Now, the next thing I wanna focus on is this dividend growth. We need to get this to a positive number for this portfolio to work. Um, slowly over time, as we get less and less equity value in the prospect capital and ag &C, which are negatively impacting the growth side of it, um, that will take care of it. But as you guys know, I'm planning on sticking with 100 shares of PSEC um, anyways, so. Slowly that will take care of itself anyways, but that is going to be more and more my focus as we get diversified. Now that pretty much wraps up the weekly update. Um, if you guys want to continue having me look at stocks, please message me in the Discord. It's completely free. The reason why I want to move those conversations there is so when you message me during the day and I'm at work, I can go home, hop on the Discord and post things that I see about these stocks you want me to speculate on with you and you'll be able to share it back and we'll be able to have a discussion maybe with a couple of other fellow investors can weigh in on it and it'll just be a more useful discussion. So that link will be in the description, completely free. Um, any speculations I do are gonna be there. So keep that in mind. Um, M1 Finance portfolio video will be tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up the weekly update. So as far as the streaming question I pulled you guys on, that is going to be something I'm going to have to work on 
Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. I think it would probably replace these weekly update videos. So you could all just come in here and talk. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, so kind of figuring everything out. But with that being said, if you made it this far, I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.